Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my October favourite. I know this is a little premature, a little bit early, but I have a very busy week coming up next week, which is the last week in October. It is Halloween week, and Halloween week is always a crazy week for people in the nightclub industry and that sort of thing. I have a lot of work on and I also have some friends coming to stay to throw that in the mix as well just to make the week even crazier because why not and it is a good excuse for a little break for my friends. I might vlog parts of the week, I might not. I'll have to see how they feel about being in a vlog and just see how that goes. But yeah I will hopefully keep you guys updated on the week even just with like pictures and stuff and I'm just going to go straight on to my favourites now. It's all a bit random. I haven't done a favourite in a little while because I haven't been buying that much stuff recently with coming back from holiday and having to pay all that off and I've had just a lot going on so I haven't really been buying too much so these are mostly products that I already had and I've just started using or started using again and I just really like them so let's get on to them. I'm going to start with some clothing stuff. And the first thing is what I'm wearing. I'm obsessed with check shirts. This is a long term obsession. This isn't just because they're on trend now. I tell you, ask my boyfriend. I've been doing this trend for like the last two years. Like, I kid you not, I have been on the check shirt hype for like ages. And now it's coming to fashion and now I am on trend. Yes. So if you are not on trend, at some point you will come around and be on trend, just so you all know. And I like wearing them in so, di so many different ways, they're so versatile and they go with so much stuff and they're nice and cosy and you know because most of them are long sleeved as well it's good for in the winter, like the transition of temperature because it has gone pretty cold in the UK now. I'm cold right now because... My house is always cold and I don't like having the heating on all day because then you get too hot and all that jazz. So yeah, check shirts, big love for them, long time. Then another, well, fashion item, I wouldn't say they're the most fashionable of things, but they are damn cosy and warm and that is Ugg boots. These are really old Ugg boots, I wouldn't mind new pair. Um, I might ask for a new pair for Christmas or something maybe, we'll see. But I do still like wearing them because when your tootsies get real cold, nothing keeps them warm like Ugg boots, apart from in the snow. Don't wear them in the snow because you will ruin them. They're not that great in the rain either, so just be careful. <laughs> just wear them tactically is what I'm saying, but they are so warm. And mine, even with like being a couple of years old, the sheep's fur inside is still not squished down and horrible so yeah love my Ugg boots again now that it's all cold and horrible here now i'm going to go on to a tv show which obviously i can't show you for copyright reasons but this show is on itv2 in the uk sorry you guys in america you might not be able to get it unless you go on itv player which is i believe if you type into google itv player you should be able to get that in the states right i don't know but um, it is a show called Release the Hounds and it is a horror based um, game show which is something completely new to me. I've never seen anything like this before on the TV and the basic concept is where you have three people in a team, they go into this manor, into the grounds of this manor and it's like a big forested area and they have tasks to do and they have to get a key from each task. There's three tasks. And once you get the key, you have to do a run for some money chased by a pack of angry hounds, as they describe it. And you have head starts dictated by how quick you find the keys and stuff like that. I'm not explaining this very well and it sounds very complicated. It's really not. They explain it every time, like every episode you watch it. Seriously, go and watch it. It's called Release the Hounds. It is on a Monday night at 9 o'clock on ITV2 if you are in the UK. You can also catch up on ITV player and I might as well work for ITV now you know <laughs> I've also been loving an app this month and this app is called Afterlight I watched what did I watch 
no I didn't watch it, it was an article, it was like a photography article by a photographer and how like just talking about how he loves Instagram and stuff like that and what he, what editing apps he uses and this one's called Afterlight, there's a little icon there and that's how it looks and you just pick a picture I'm just going to take a random one of myself use and it puts it into there and you have all your adjustments for like lighting and stuff like that then you have um, like loads of filters and things like that that you can put on things and it's just really it's just really cool and fun there's a lot of stuff on there and you can actually buy like expansion things for it if you really want to I don't bother you can do like cropping and rotating and all this sort of stuff it's a really cool app it did cost me like 69p or something like that I don't know it did cost me but less than a pound so it's not an expensive app but I'm really getting the use out of it editing like um, pictures from my Halloween tutorials and things like that on it I've been using it for that and I have really been enjoying using the app just generally now on to the more usual star stuff I have been well this isn't really but I'm gonna go with it anyway this is by the company that produced the buttercup um, throat syrup stuff and it's called Bronco Stop and these are the cough pastels these are meant to like help when you've got a bad cough and I've had a bad cough and a throat and I still have it I've had it for about four weeks had antibiotics it still didn't get rid of it went to the doctors yesterday and I'm going to have a blood test in a couple of weeks so we don't know what's going on basically but I've been taking these and they do kind of take the edge off for a little while. They don't taste that great though, which is a bit shit. They could make them taste nicer, in my opinion, because they are like pastels, lozenges, things. So yeah, maybe they should try and work on the taste, but they do help you stop coughing a little bit. So if you are finding that you have like a crazy unstoppable cough and you just cannot stop coughing, it might be worth giving some of these a try. You can take quite a few in a day. I think you can take it says you can take up to 12 pastels a day if you really really want to so I don't but yeah just in case anyone's got a nasty cough like me at the minute might be worth a try next thing I'm going on to is a makeup palette and this is the MUA undressed palette I have spoke about these palettes before these are four pound palettes and this is basically a dupe of the naked one palette this one I haven't tried the Undress 2 palette which is obviously a dupe for the Naked 2 palette and I'm sure they will come out with a third one for the Naked 3 palette at some point. I just really like this matte shade here the most. It's a really nice transition colour just generally for most looks but I do like using this matte combination just doing an all matte eye look at the minute. This is a really nice highlighter as well. I like using that for highlighting. I haven't used much of the rest of the palette because I do have another one that I use that I'm still using the rest of the colours with and yeah it's quite a good palette i do like the matte shades in there i wish they did more matte shades in there to be honest but i'm sure for four pounds you can't really squabble you probably couldn't really get you know that's cheaper than individual mac eyeshadow isn't it so can't complain too much so i've been loving that again Another thing I've been loving is this bronzer. I didn't like this to start with. I thought that it applied really patchy. I must have now just learnt how to apply it best. I don't know. To start with, I didn't like it. And now I really like it. I think it really works. I think maybe before I was putting a little too much on, going a little crazy with it. But who knows? And this is the NARS... I don't know whether this is just a... I think that this is just like a face powder, but in a dark colour. And this is in the colour Heat. This was one that someone, like a lady on the stand, recommended to me. And I just love the massive mirror in these NARS products. That's the word. I've been using this mirror to do all my Halloween makeup tutorials because I don't have a table to sit in front of me with a mirror at the minute. And it's just such a big mirror. I, I love it. Like you can get like your whole face in it really easily. So you can just really have a good look at yourself and do your makeup properly. For a start... I haven't even gotten to the product yet. And this is the bronzer. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is a completely matte bronzer because I had a look at Laguna and I thought it was too shimmery, way too shimmery. Like, I don't know how people contour with that. So I went with this one and I do really like it. 
it's a bit more of a dusty brown colour than the MAC one I was using before. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is just completely matte, which I really like from bronzer. I don't like contouring with anything with, it, with any shimmer in it. So, yeah, I've been really liking this. And it hasn't got too dirty, I have to say. The packaging hasn't got too crazy dirty yet. I have two combination things to show you guys this month. And here is the first one. It's a highlighting combination. And I believe I'll put this product in my disappointing products video because, yes, it is disappointing on its own. It is sh crap. Crap? This keeps coming undone in my hand. What is it doing? The high beam is doing its own thing over here. So I've been using high beam first as like the base highlighter and then I've been putting a little bit of the white from this trio on my eyes. <coughs> well, on my eyes underneath my brows to highlight underneath my brows. I haven't been using this like along my cheeks because this is enough for just on the cheeks and I don't like to highlight too much over the winter so I don't know why but so everyone knows what high beam looks like this is what it looks like and I just like to put a little bit on and I will like just blend it out with my finger when I blend it out, I don't put loads like on my eye so that it stays really pigmented. So that's what it looks like on its own. And then, because sometimes I feel like you can't really see it very much underneath my eyes, I will then put some of this over. This is not pigmented at all, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But it just, it just adds a little bit more and it does take the pink tone off a little bit because this isn't pink at all it's pretty neutral white shimmer so yeah I have been liking the combination of those together just underneath my eyes not all over the like not on the cheeks or anything just as a different way to highlight and to utilize some of the products I have just lying around in my drawer and then the second combination that I have here is Max Rebel lipstick and this Estee Lauder lip defining pencil in Apple Cordial this is from a multi set that my mum gave me that she'd had sitting in her cupboard so I don't know how old this is it looks like it could be quite old but it doesn't smell off at all so it just smells like makeup so it's cool I've been using it and we all know what Rebel looks like surely so that's what Rebel looks like on the back of my hand I love the smell of MAC lipsticks and I actually prefer this satin finish that Rebel is. I feel like it just feels nicer on my lips than the cream sheen finishes which the other MAC lipsticks I have. I don't know why because it's more of a matte finish but I just feel like it kind of dries onto the lips in a nice way that you know when you have a drink it's not going to all come off. Like the cream sheens are a bit slippy like as if they go slide off like just the minute you have a drink or eat anything. Yeah, I just feel like the satins seem a bit more long wearing than the cream sheens. And I have been really liking this dark colour. I think it goes actually with my hair quite well. And then the lip liner looks like that. It looks a completely different colour to Rebel. But when you actually put the two together, it actually works really well. So it just helps when you use a darker colour to define your lips, I think. I could do get in a different pencil to see how a different pencil works with it but this is just one I had lying around after I bought the lipstick and it works I think it works quite well so that's the lip combination that I've been liking quite a bit recently another thing I've been liking quite a bit recently is the MAC brush cleanser I don't like to do a deep cleanse with this I use this to spot cleanse I did change the top bit I went out and bought one of those travel depot things from Superdrug and I just changed the cap because it fit really well like the thread was the same and I just keep this on my vanity and whenever I've like I've been doing this a lot recently I've been using brushes for like Halloween tutorials and then if I need to use them the next day for everyday use I have to spot clean them with the brush cleanser and it does work really well as a spot cleaner but again I would not recommend it as a deep cleanser I just use this to spot clean but I have been spot cleaning my brushes a lot more recently so I have been getting the use out of this. 
So I have one skincare item and this is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Daily Correcting Daily Moisturiser apparently and I have had this sitting in my drawer for quite some time and I just haven't got around to using it to be honest. I used it occasionally and now I've run out of my daily moisturiser so I have been using this like every day now and I do really like it. I don't like it doesn't make me greasy and I like the smell of it. It's nice just to have something that feels like it's doing a bit more because before I was using just a simple daily moisturiser and it feels like it's not really doing a lot for you whereas this genuinely feels like it's doing a little bit more and it does feel like it's like smoothing over lines and pores and it feels like it is correcting. It smells like roses as well which is really quite nice. It's, it's a nice smell but it's not too overpowering. And I feel like this just sinks into the skin really, really nice. So I am really, really liking this. And I've noticed that it stopped me getting any breakouts or like spots. I don't seem to have a lot of spots recently. And I have been wearing quite a lot of makeup and taking makeup off and putting makeup back on and stuff. So it has been working pretty well. And then the last thing I have is a dry shampoo by Tresemme. You may think, we saw this in your last favourites video. But no, you didn't, because this is apparently a translucent one. The other one I had was just the normal one. This is apparently a translucent one. And I bought this the other day because I ran out of the other one. It smells different to the other one, I think. A little bit, not too much though. It smells okay, I don't mind the smell on my hair. But it is really translucent. I sprayed it on and I was like... Let's test this, let's test this. Sprayed it, sprayed a very generous amount on, no whiteness. It was genuinely translucent, so pretty impressed with that, I have to say. So I think I might actually stick with this one. So, that's done for the October favourites. Hopefully I will have some favourites in November, but we will have to see. It is my birthday in November, but it is towards the end of the month, so I might have to shunt that to a December favourites? Do we do December favourites or do we just do yearly favourites? Who knows? So I will sort that out at a later date but I will see you all soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all soon. Bye guys!